America is brought to you by Pfizer. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by Pfizer. Anderson Cooper 360, brought to you by Pfizer. ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference, brought to you by Pfizer. CNN Tonight, brought to you by Pfizer. Early start, brought to you by Pfizer. Friday night on Aaron Burnett out front. Brought to you by Pfizer. This week with George Stephanopoulos is brought to you by Pfizer. This weather report brought to you by Pfizer. Today's countdown to the royal wedding is brought to you by Pfizer. And now a CBS Sports update brought to you by Pfizer. Meet the press. Data download. Brought to you by Pfizer. This portion of CBS This Morning sponsored by Pfizer. On how to find the hidden sugars in the American family diet. Sponsored by Pfizer. Wow. Um... Wonder if there's a conflict of interest there with a company that's also on the top 10 list of stocks owned by Congress that also is the recipient of many secretive, lucrative, billion-dollar government contracts that the general public doesn't even know about. But hey, there's probably nothing wrong, you crazy conspiracy theorists. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Ukradowski here of WeAreChange.org. And oh boy, do we got a lot of information to get into today. As in and out is making a major stand in San Francisco while Biden is setting his eyes on small children aged 5 to 11. What's happening here? What's going on? We're going to be talking about in this video as well as the larger implications and bigger problems associated with it. Now, literally just jumping right into it because there's so much to go over. We're finding out today that Facebook is planning on changing its name to shake off the multiple scandals that it has been involved in. And of course, it's ever decreasing popularity with some users even suggesting that Facebook should change their name to, quote, woke book to fully represent the larger ideas that, of course, they politically finance and get involved in. Since, of course, as we know, Mark Zuckerberg has invested nearly a half of a billion dollars in supporting the Democratic presidential candidate in the last election, and yet he still hasn't been able to buy himself any major favors, as many people are declaring that they will not be fooled by a new name for the Monopoly tech company that also runs psychological experiments on unsuspecting users of its platform. In related extremely unpopular things, we of course have the latest information about Joe Biden's poll numbers that show how support from independents has plummeted from 54% in 2020 to of course 28% right now. As according to the Ginrail College National Poll, the president's approval rating right now stands at 37%. This says, of course, Biden plans to implement more of his very unpopular policies on the American people, including children, which we're going to be talking about in a little bit, as, of course, crime skyrockets all over the United States, including an absolutely horrible event in Philadelphia where a woman was attacked in unspeakable ways for 30 minutes as people in the same public train car as her we're literally filming the incident and choosing not to intervene or stop it. This attack by an illegal immigrant that was charged with previous horrible offenses before was of course released to the general public and most likely will face lack repercussions by the George Soros bought and paid for prosecutor in Philadelphia. There's a lot more to say about this story and, and my own theory on why people didn't intervene. I'm going to be talking about that specifically on LukeUncensored.com in just a little bit. But in related news of unspeakable things happening to victims as the general public stands back and just watches, we of course have the latest developments surrounding the Ghislaine Maxwell court proceedings as her trial is about to start and her lawyers are demanding that their victims be called, quote, accusers, and they're asking that all testimony surrounding the actions committed by Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Gates' close friend, should be, quote, barred from the trial. These are the motions that they filed. Will they be approved? We will see in the next coming days, but obviously this is a story that we are following very closely. As, of course, there's a new movie surrounding Mr. Epstein called The Monsters, where Steve Bannon directly interviews and talks to Jeffrey Epstein himself in a never-before-seen interview where Epstein even goes as far as to claim that he is a supporter of Time's Up, 
to be honest, this looks like a very fascinating uh, documentary. I definitely look forward to watching it whenever it is released. And uh, I'm uh, super curious to see what story Steve Bannon presents on this entire huge saga that we still know very little about. We got a little bit of insight into that from Rolling Stone that is running a headline entitled, quote, Steve Bannon thought Jeffrey Epstein was a spy. And of course, there's an overwhelming amount of evidence and coincidence that of course suggest that this is absolutely the case in many instances, as of course he ran an international child hurting and ex extortion operation for over 30 years with many times police officers prosecutors judges federal agents looking the other way deliberately now all of this is coming out as of course the january 6th committee just voted to hold bannon in contempt of congress with even the president of the united states declaring that Steve Bannon should be arrested for this charge. What will happen here, we of course will be following the story very closely because it's a very big and important story that of course we've been working on for a very long time, even when the mainstream media was propping up and supporting Jeffrey Epstein in the mainstream media. And if you wanna support our work for future endeavors, future missions and acts of journalism, you can very easily by also getting exclusive behind the scenes content, giveaways, t-shirts by just simply joining LukeUncensored.com for the low cost of just 50 cents a day. That's all it takes to support the people fighting for you and trying to keep you as informed as possible to the latest ways that people are trying to make you a victim. And we strive of informing you of that plus a lot more all on LukeUncensored.com with almost daily videos which are sent directly to you and only available on our own platform where we could say whatever we want without any fear of repercussions so yeah if you haven't signed up yet what are you waiting for the link is down below click it right now and get your exclusive content and merchandise as we speak now uh, i think it's very fair to say that a large portion of this country has been torn apart by an executive decree by the president of the united states that is mandating that everyone must take a procedure under an ever-growing so list of categories that, of course, the government places you in. This has created a rift. This has created parts of society that are standing up for their own personal decisions to decide what they want to do with their human bodies. Many important institutions, like even police unions, like the Chicago one that was just issued a restraining order by a judge in Chicago that is preventing the union boss from even talking about this procedure publicly. This, as Chicago is set to lose thousands of police officers who are not complying with this decree, while, of course, already a large number of police, firefighters, frontline workers, nurses, and medical doctors have been fired all throughout this country, including places like Seattle, where newly fired police officers and firefighters came together and decided to feed the, the homeless after being kicked to the curb by the city that they were just serving before. The police and firefighters also symbolically came up to the steps of City Hall and laid down their boots and walked away from their former employer in a sign of defiance. And it's not just frontline workers that are affected here, it's also private enterprises like in and out in San Francisco that have just been shut down because they refused to act like enforcers of the state demanding government approved paperwork before people got their burgers and fries. As in and out publicly released a statement saying that asking people for government approved papers every time they, they enter their store about their private medical history is quote, intrusive and offensive as they also publicly stated that they will not be the procedure police and the sentiment is represented by many private businesses especially small businesses that now have to comply with yet another act of regulation by the state that is forced on them that is intrusive for their customer prevents people from purchasing their products and also forces the business to hire new staff just to check paperwork of people coming in and out of their businesses. What's the response by bureaucratic government agents in San Francisco to this kind of 
logical approach? Well, they shut down one In-N-Out burger temporarily, and it's going to be very interesting to see how the state will act from here. As, of course, many governments look to double down, triple down on their invasive policies, like New York City that just publicly announced that all city workers, hundreds of thousands of people, are now mandated to take this procedure and will no longer be able to take tests in order to opt out from this procedure. This, again, is totally illogical, absolutely not scientific at all for many reasons. We're going to tell you why in just a little bit. As, of course, the government is planning to fire or, quote, put people on unpaid leave if they don't show proof of them taking this procedure, which is becoming more and more political by the day. This policy will affect a workforce of around 300,000 people, which a significant portion of still has decided not to take this procedure at all. The White House is also creating its own absolutely nonsensical similar push surrounding this matter as of course the White House just released their plan to make children aged 5 to 11 take this procedure which still there's a lot of questions surrounding. This is a procedure which by the way school children Young children are at an extremely low risk of getting affected by, as of course currently in the United States, more children are, are killed in Chicago from gang-related incidences than of course this sickness that the government wants to have them take an intrusive procedure for. The Biden administration is also set to recommend booster shots for people as young as 40 years old this as major figures within the FDA have recently resigned because of what they called the overzealous push of this administration trying to push a third shot, which the FDA recently turned down. Now, the policies uh, in New York and the policies proposed by the White House should leave a lot of people questioning why they shouldn't be doing any testing for the very fact that, of course, we know, even according to the CDC, that if you get this procedure, you could still get the sickness and spread it to others as perfectly represented by a Royal Navy aircraft that had a crew of 100% of people on that ship that took the procedure, had two of these procedures and still had an outbreak of the sickness that this procedure was supposed to stop. As of course, a hundred crew members have been estimated to be infected by it, even though they were supposed to be protected from something that Fauci called a hundred percent safe and effective. So that's why ending testing in, in New York City is absolutely the opposite of, of a health policy, and it's ridiculous and uh, a dangerous policy to say the least. Now, when it comes to children, the data speaks for itself with the risk being astronomically low, according to some medical professionals. There's also the fact that there's a lot of strange coincidences of the places that have usually the highest compliance rate, the places that have taken the procedure the most, dealing with significant uptake in cases. As even CNBC is calling for lockdowns in the United Kingdom for allegedly the numbers going up there. The numbers have been in question in the United Kingdom. What's exactly going on there? I don't know. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not here to give you any advice, but subjugating, forcing something on a population when they don't want it, in my opinion, is absolutely cruel and inhumane. In California, school children are told to wear warm jackets as they're forced to eat outside in the rain because of restrictions as, of course, many California public school children are now forced to take this procedure in order to even be in public school. This under another decree by the governor there that also is, of course, implementing laws against gender-neutral toy aisles. And another aspect that is created from these mandates, from these discriminatory policies, is, of course, the larger economic ramifications, which will be huge and, in my opinion, tragic to deal with. I want to talk about that specifically on LukeUncensored.com. There's a lot of things to get into, especially with the larger financial picture of what's happening here, because it's it's devastating. It's, it's, it's crazy, and it's going to be impacting most of Americans very soon. 
And I'm going to save this because I think I already went over my time all on LukeUncensored.com where I will continue this video plus get into a lot of different topics, a lot of spicier topics that sadly the ever so reactive gut system of YouTube cannot handle or process without stamping it out and throwing it away. That content I love to make. I have a lot, a lot of fun making, and, and I hope you guys get to enjoy some of it. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. That's why if you thought I said anything wrong, let me know why in the comment section below. If you dislike this video, click the dislike button. If you liked it, click the like button. But most importantly, just sharing it, just starting a conversation with your friends, family, loved ones is extremely important in this day and age. And you can do that just by sharing this video. And because you do, I'm still here. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for a lot more here on wearechange.org.